Hello everyone, this is Bowtie Daniels, and welcome back to another episode where we are previewing the 1.14 features here on the, what is this, 1.8 Beta Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. So again, this is not the Java Edition, this is the Bedrock Edition, so this is not exactly the same as Java, it's not out yet, but we are expecting a snapshot probably on Wednesday, uh, we'll see what happens. And there's a couple of new things to show off here. Uh, so the crossbow is in the game, so check it out. We, we got it right in here, so this is what it looks like. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty massive thing. Uh, it definitely looks like it's the bow texture just kind of flipped sideways with, you know, some sticks coming out of it and pointer thing on the front. It almost looks like a claw at the front. Uh, but yeah, this is the, uh, the crossbow and you got an animation when you're firing it now. I imagine that this is going to be a bedrock thing that you're not going to uh, see that animation in the Java edition. Uh, Java usually doesn't show off that kind of stuff, but that was actually cool. I didn't try that yet, where you draw it, you can switch to another weapon, and it's still charged up. That's cool. You can see that it's charged up in the uh, in the bar at the bottom, in your uh, uh, what, what what is that thing called? I don't know what it's called. Your inventory at the bottom there, you can see that it's still charged up. So in this first one here, you know, it, it, it doesn't have the pointed pulled back string, but in these two, you have the uh, the pulled back string. So let's get into showing off some things in here. So yeah, that was the crossbow. Uh, next thing I want to show off is we have uh, some enchantments for the crossbow. So there's uh, multi-shot, quick charge, and piercing. So I'm going to show off couple of these things and let's see am I doing uh, this is the multi shot one so if I take a shot here what you're gonna see is three arrows come out and it doesn't always spread the way that you would think like the, these are all basically spread evenly uh, apart so you would think it's gonna hit all three but it doesn't so sometimes you got to maybe get back a little bit further and there you go you can hit them all now if I shoot it again all right it doesn't always, it's not always very consistent, so I don't know if that's an intended behavior or a bug or what. And again, if I come over here, and if I get even really close, so the distance really does make uh, 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 an impact on things. So the closer you are, you're not gonna hit everything. You gotta be a decent distance away in order to get that, that proper spread. So that's going to definitely be a learning curve to figure that out. Let's get a couple more zombies in here. Uh, let's start off in the back. We go one, two, three. That's not where I put you. Three, four. Yeah, you go burn to death. All right. So the next thing I want to show off is the uh, 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 piercing. So with piercing, uh, I've seen a couple of videos that people don't really seem to understand what it what it does. It, it pierces. It does exactly what it says. It pierces stuff. So people were thinking, oh, you know, maybe it's the armor or it goes through blocks. It, it pierces entities. So right here, if I were to take, say, this normal crossbow and shoot right there, you're going to see only that first zombie got hit. But if I switch over to the one with piercing, and I don't know if you caught it there because I kind of clicked it by mistake, but if I fire again now, you see four zombies just got hit. Now, what I want to show off next is that, whoops, if I do that again, and now there's, uh, I believe, seven zombies here, well, eight zombies, because that one just walked in the way, that there's a cap on how many mobs it'll go through. So it just hit, maybe you couldn't see it there, but it hit the first four mobs. If I try it again, now again, it hit. Uh, I, I didn't really see which four mobs, but it seems like each level of piercing, at least in my testing and playing around with, only hits four mobs. Or, or for each level, it's only going to do one mob. So like piercing one, it'll pierce through one mob. Piercing two will go through two. Piercing three will go through three. Four will go through uh, four. So you can hit a total of uh, two mobs with piercing one, three mobs with piercing two, four mobs for piercing three, and four mobs for piercing three, and five mobs for uh, piercing four. So that's how that works out. Hopefully that uh, takes care of some of the confusion that is out there. 
Okay, so the next thing I want to demonstrate is that you can use a fire uh, firework or rockets with the uh, the crossbow. So you draw back. You can even see that there is a fire uh, a fire rocket firework rocket in there, and not a uh, arrow like it would be. Um, if I were to let's get that out of our offhand. And now this one has an arrow in it. You can see it, see it even in the icon and the uh, your inventory there, as well as on the actual item itself. So you can switch back and forth, and you can see that there. Now, what's cool is that it does remember what you put in there. So I'm switching back and forth. I can go into another one, put an arrow in here. So each one, you know, you can have something different in, and that can be pretty useful, especially if you're using different arrows and you have a bunch of them. Maybe you can have an entire inventory of crossbows so you can use them at different times for different things all preloaded with the uh, exact thing that you want to use so that's gonna be pretty pretty interesting to use but if I fire this off there you go you can you can actually fire rockets that way and this works against mobs too if I were to put in a couple of uh, zombies here come back down and we got piercing again now this is a little inconsistent. There we go. That time it did hit them. I was doing this before and I had some instances where it would fly completely through the mobs. So yeah, that time it didn't hit anyone. Uh, the, the, the path of the rocket is a little inconsistent with how it flies, but the piercing effect works on that as well. Let's get rid of that. All right. And if I were to use multi-shot here, It didn't hit anyone, but it does work with uh, with multi-shot as well. So you fire off three rockets, and I'm not hitting anything. So it's there. You go. You got to be at the right distance. So again, if you're too close, it's just gonna fly through. Oh, well, bad time it worked. Um, I think what happened there is I hit the whoops the fence post, uh, which exploded the rocket. Whereas if I had to fire right there. Nope, it came back and it, and it hit them. Interesting. It almost looked like they flew back. Yeah, see, that time it went through. I don't know. Uh, it, it's a little inconsistent, so multi-shot with the rockets is not something I'd recommend, unless you're just trying to put on a cool little, cool little show. So I wanted to show this off next. Uh, I mentioned this in the last clip, but I wasn't sure about it, uh, if it would hold on to, you know, whatever specialty type of arrow that you're using. So I went ahead and I loaded up all my crossbows here with a different type of arrow and just to kind of show off like, all right, so this first one I'm, I'm shooting, I don't remember what any of them are and unfortunately when you go back and forth it doesn't tell you what they are. The arrows don't look any different so hopefully that's a chain that uh, that comes and even highlighting them uh, uh, doesn't give you any of that information. So let's just kind of go through and see. So that one there, you can tell I'm holding a green arrow but it's giving off like brown or black particle effects. Switching over to that one, I got some red effects. Uh, let's switch to this one, that gives you some green here. I think, is this the one that does it? Yeah, so that one, oh, well that was supposed to be an invisibility one. That was the only one I think I paid attention to where I put it. So there we go, a different color green. Uh, that one didn't show any effects, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what that one was. So yeah, that that's all I wanted to show is just that you can have them all charged up and you, you see different things coming out of them even though I'm holding a different colored arrow here in my hand. And so that is really cool. You're gonna be able to be pretty strategic with that if you line up multiple uh, crossbows for, for things. So that has a really big potential to, uh, to change things with like PVP. Now, there are a few things that I don't like about this, and I already showed off some of them with the multi-shot being pretty inconsistent with the rockets, and you know you have to be exact with where you're going to be standing for, for, for it to spread properly and hit the amount of mobs that you're looking to hit. So something else that could be a problem, uh, let's just put those three there, and let me pull out a, let's get a villager, just a normal villager. And you're gonna have to be really careful when using these things because, you know, right now if I had all these zombies uh, attacking, I can't get, get down there. I can't see that there's a villager behind this guy. 
And if I have my piercing crossbow here and I fire it off, I've now hit the villager. So that's going to be something that, that it's going to be challenging to work with and, and something to, to figure out how to use. I guess it's basically just as if you're using a sweeping edge sword, you got to be careful when you're around other players. It's just something to uh, to keep in mind that you want to be careful when using it that you don't hit the wrong target by mistake. So something else that I didn't see covered in any other videos uh, and, and I started wondering about after I did my last video was what happens with mobs with scaffolding? How do they interact with, uh, with it? So you can spawn mobs, you know, part way through. That's not a problem with them. Um, but say if I were to just spawn a couple around here and then where is put myself back into survival like the mobs ow as you can see they can walk right through these things so that doesn't stop them I was curious if they'd recognize it as a full block or what but what I also wanted to show off is the fact that if you look above me I do have a zombie tracking me through here, but he can't climb down, and the zombies below me can't climb up. Okay, I also wanted to revisit this here. Um, so in my last video, I showed that scaffolding can't be placed on transparent blocks, and that is still the case. Makes no sense to me. I really hope that's a bug and not a feature. I hope that's something that gets fixed. Maybe it'll get fixed in the Java version? I don't know, because that works. That doesn't. That works. That doesn't. Heck, even this works. You can put scaffolding in the water. But why do you need scaffolding in the water? <laughs> there is no reason aside for it from being decorative because you can swim around in the water. There's no benefit to it in the water, yet you can do it, but you can't put scaffolding on a transparent block like glass. So there's really not too much to go over here. There's a few other small changes uh, with with pandas. They now drop bamboo if you uh, well, they already did drop bamboo if you killed them. But now if they had any additional bamboo in their inventory, uh, they'll drop that as well. Uh, there's some new sounds, which you may have heard when I was placing down the scaffolding and a couple of other, I think, small things and, and minor tweaks and, and, and such, but nothing that I found too interesting that I wanted to go over in this video, and it's been covered in a lot of other people's videos here. So I, I wanted to really just try and show off things that haven't been shown in any of the other uh, snapshot 1.8, 1.14 videos that I've, uh, I've seen here. So hopefully this has been a little bit different and you've learned something that you have not seen anywhere else. If you like the video, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, this is Bowtie. Peace out. <laughs>